Welcome to the Granite Crete installation video. Granite Crete is a unique, patent pending, trademark product with specific handling and installation procedures. Granite Crete installs in a similar manner as decomposed granite or other crushed aggregates. However, for a quality installation, Granite Crete requires close attention to a few simple details. In this video, we will cover two different jobs in progress. One, a patio outside an office complex, and the other, a seating area at a school. These jobs are both intended for foot traffic, so they're referred to as pedestrian projects. In this first example, once your forms are in place, bring in four inches of base rock, moisten and compact, paying attention to edges along forms or hardscape. Make sure to compact evenly and leave three inches for the granite crete. If you have stakes inside your header boards, set them two inches below finished grade. In this example, a volumetric mixing truck is used due to the job size. Any job over approximately 500 square feet should consider using this method. Contractors should consider using the truck mix process as the time and labor savings can be substantial. As granite crete is loaded into the site, it must be kept damp. Do not allow granite crete to dry out. If necessary, cover the granite crete with a tarp, especially if you're working on a hot or windy day or there is high sun exposure. Again, keep granite crete moist during the entire process. After the granite crete is in place, rake it out to a uniform depth and establish rough grade one inch above your forms. Next, begin compaction using a vibratory plate or similar compaction equipment. Pay special attention to the compaction of corners and edges. The entire surface should be thoroughly compacted and is complete when footprints are no longer visible. Compaction should be approximately 92%. Keep transitions to grade as even as possible to avoid trip hazards. Compact all edges thoroughly and repeat a minimum of two times with hand tamps if necessary. If you see ridges and ruts resulting from the compaction equipment, first clean the plate or roller, then use the flat side of an asphalt rake at 90 degrees to the ruts to break down and eliminate them. If slick or high sheen spots appear, then you have too much compaction. Use a medium bristle broom to break the surface and provide a more uniform appearance. Granite Crete is a very forgiving material, and as long as it stays moist, you can continue making fine adjustments to your desired finished grade. Low spots can be corrected by hand filling with moist, mixed materials and hand tamping as necessary to get adequate compaction. The same technique can be used to match transitional areas or details around edges. Once compaction is complete, for a more uniform finish, use a medium bristled broom to lightly sweep the entire surface and compact with a heavy weighted lawn roller. The final step in completing a granite crete installation is misting the entire surface with a shower head type hose end nozzle. The misting process should be repeated daily, five continuous days are recommended. Misting is done for a slow curing time, which allows for a superior finish. A full cure period is 28 days. Pedestrian traffic should stay off the finished material for at least 24 hours. Vehicular traffic should stay off for a minimum of five days. In the second example, moisten and compact the base rock over the entire area taking care to work right up to borders and edges. On this smaller job, a portable concrete mixer is used. The granite crete is mixed to the provided specifications and is ready when it passes the squeeze test. Give a handful of the mixture a squeeze in your fist and then open your hand. If the mixture just begins to hold together as a clump, then it's ready to be installed. Be careful not to add too much water to the mix. Also, watch for marbling, which indicates proper moisture content. Once you begin to move and rake out the granite crete, don't allow it to dry out. Again, mist it lightly or cover it with a tarp if necessary. Once the granite crete is moved into the job area and graded to one inch above the desired finish level, you're ready to compact with your compaction equipment. Pay close attention to details around edges, forms, and any hardscape. It's critical that edge compaction is done a minimum of two times with hand tamps if necessary, keeping granite crete tight against the edges and corners. As you go, keep your compaction equipment and tools clean by scraping as necessary. Once the surface is compacted and you have worked the area as previously instructed to your desired finish, 
Moisten the granite creek using a shower head type hose end nozzle. The misting process should be repeated as necessary depending on weather conditions. Misting is required as a slow drying time, again, allows for a superior finish.